other side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for free. He has 29 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. Stewart in a shooting guard. Johnson is out there with Young. I wonder and if you Brooke can Lopez combine like and it's Jack in at the one spot. So that's the lineup so for I Brooklyn. Like the full game on the <clears throat> Here's well, if y'all got to this part of the video, Clearly a defensive that's what I did. There, guys. They didn't play him close I learned. On the inbound. And then gave up the triple. Here's Stewart. Rebound by the 76ers. Noel's got his third rebound tonight. Passes it to Roten. Noel, a screen on Jack. To the inside. Puts up the baby hook. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And for Brooklyn, their shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Here's Stewart. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Freak's got 31 points. They're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper. If the defense is going to give it to them, they'll take it all day. It's about getting open looks, and they've used that shot with great effect here tonight. Now here's Okafor. Here's O'Connor. Misses the three. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. And a wide-open look for Freak. Good, and just gets the assist. And it's a three-point Brooklyn lead. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for free? First in scoring. First in field goal percentage. And he's from three-point land. In fact, the best percentage that we have in the league. And I tell you what, his scoring abilities are almost otherworldly. I mean, no one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Now, here's Marshall. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And he gets it to go. 15 points for Jaleel Okafor. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. The Nets have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. For the three, and Freak gets it to go on the assist from Jack. 36 points for Freak. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. And Marshall kicks to Grant. The dish to Marshall. Back to Grant. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Grant's got his first bucket in this one. Jack passes to Johnson. Here's Stewart. Okafor grabs the miss. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Took him no time at all on that one. Freak's got 38 points. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here's Okafor. Brooklyn with the rebound. Freak's got four rebounds in this game. Right around three minutes into the second half. Bounces high off the rim and drops. And it's a six-point Brooklyn lead. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Grant kicks to Noel. Young with the steal. All alone. Oh. And I want an alley, you, man. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Here's Stewart, and that basket pushes the lead to double digits. Freak's got 13 points here in the second half alone.
The 76ers trail by 10. Down low. Shot to stop the run. And Noel lays it up and in. What a pass by Marshall. That's outstanding teamwork. The Nets have gone 7-9 from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Fires high post. Another one falls for Brooklyn. When it rains and pours, another jump shot tickles that twine. And this is a thunderstorm because they got it flowing right now. They are putting on a nice run. And slam dunk by Noel. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. Young sets a screen for Freak. Shot off the screen, and that is good. Freak. Freak's got 46 points. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Grant dishes to Noel. Okafor, high post. Marshall passes to Okafor. 76ers moving the ball around. Okafor with a screen on Jack. Shot clock at six. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And the 76ers get it back. Noel again, Philadelphia. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. Here's Stewart, and it's Brooklyn scoring again. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And Marshall kicks to Grant. Okafer with the ball. He's picked up by Lopez. Back to Grant. The three, Marshall. And yes, sir, that one drops. Marshall's got five points so far. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Bargnani has checked in for Lopez. Robinson comes in for Thaddeus Young. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Johnson. And it's Barbosa in for Jarrett Jack. Crafty pass work there, getting it down low for the easy deuce. Barbosa kicks to Freak. Stolen by Jackson. And here they go. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Roten. Tell you what, that was all made possible by the heads-up defense at the other end. Ladies and gentlemen, your Brooklyn Nets. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard one. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for the 76ers. Kendall Marshall comes in for Jackson. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Now, here's Roden taking a look at the 76ers. On the wings, Roden and Grant. Noel and Embiid patrol the paint together inside. And it's Marshall in at the point. Now, here is Jack. Kendall Marshall unable to get his shot to go. Poked away. Two minutes. And now, here comes Marshall. Leading the break. And that one's good, Roden. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Now here's Freak. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Roten dishes to Embiid. Tries again, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Boy, they came out of the locker room at halftime with a much more physical disposition than they had in the first half. And that helps, Clark. They've got extra trips to the foul line, and they need that to continue if they're going to get back in this game. This is what they need to do in the second half to come out with a win. It's not the only thing, but when you convert free throws at the other end, you put a lot of pressure on the opponent to play solid defense against. And now the 76ers on the break. Roten with the ball. 
And the pass to O'Connor. It's good. And this game is all even. He hushed them up with that shot. Well, a huge bucket there to stifle the crowd. You're right. Yeah, very little to cheer about for them at the moment. And Jack kicks the free. Elbow shot. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. They had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. And the 76 is making a change here. Hope Nigga, get out my comment. <laughs> moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, during that last break, I heard the 76ers coach as he addressed his team. The game's still in question, but he told his players, guys, this is when it's fun, right? Time is winding down, a close game. This is where you show the preparation and the time you put in. Kevin, we'll see if they respond. Now, here's Roden. Good! And tie game, that is a huge basket right there. Boy, what a pressure bucket that was. Greg, now that's coming through in the clutch. Here's Stewart. And again, no good by Brooklyn. But I'm about now to lose. The on the break. Buries it. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. Shot and game clock separated by five. The Nets working the ball around now. He nails it. And we're tied up. Boy, I love the great assist that time by Jackson. So here is Philadelphia. Not loose. And here we go. Three heading to the hoop. Money! Oh, man, what a turnaround. Sensational play on D and then the rapid fire run to the basket. Craig, they didn't wait around, did they? They went right for the throat. Guys, this is crunch time now. When you got a chance to capitalize on the turnover, you got to take it and make it. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball. Fabulous finish as Clark they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. Yep, and it might not be the way a coach would have drawn it up or wanted it to end. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Game. How long do you think this will last? I do this press conference. We don't think about that. To us, there is no winning streak. We go into each game feeling like we can win, and we do everything in our power to make that happen. Simple as that. It's the only way you can approach this kind of thing without driving yourself crazy, you know what I mean? Was this game a little too close for comfort? Well, you never want games to be that close if you can help it. But the important thing here is that we came out with a W. Sure. We didn't execute exactly the way we wanted to, but we got it done in the end. And that's all that matters to me. I saw your longtime girlfriend, Yvette Mendenhall, was in attendance at the game today. So when are you going to get her a ring? Uh, okay, wow. We turning this press conference into an episode of As the Freak Turns or something? Because I know you didn't just go from talking basketball to asking me when I'm going to propose to the most beautiful girl in the world. Hi, baby. I know you're listening, Yvette. So let's just say that she knows exactly where we stand, and the rest ain't none of your business. No. All right? That's it for tonight, y'all. Thank you.